Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'd like to talk to you guys a little bit about the water cooling capabilities of the Cooler Master 692 Basic or Advanced Case. As both of them are pretty much similar in design aspects as far as what they can handle um, on the water cooling side of things. Basically we're looking at a uh, pretty much stripped down 692 Advanced here. Cooler Master has provided several spots from the factory to mount water cooling radiators inside of the 692 Advanced case. The first spot to mount a water cooling radiator with minimal modification is right under here on the top panel. Second spot, which requires small modification, is down here on the bottom. All you have to do is remove a few screws and this and this piece right here, which is what actually supports the hard drive trays that go in and out, will be removed. Now, the downside to doing this is you lose all but two hard drive mounts. But if you're a person who has only two hard drives or less, or you decide to mount your hard drives up in the five and quarter inch bays with adapters, then removing this for the, the radiators that you can install is definitely worth it. Now, the other spot that you can mount a radiator is in the back 120 millimeter fan hole here. Now, the only thing you're really going to be able to mount there easily without any other kind of modification is going to be like a Corsair H50 or a Coolit system where they have the 120 millimeter fan single radiator mount that just goes right in there. Uh, also, what you could do, which will require a little bit more work, but you can add um, a adapter on the back and then like a two times 120 millimeter or uh, three times 120 millimeter radiator hanging off the back, and they also provided two rubber grounded holes here that you can pass your tubes through to go to your water block and your pump and your reservoir and everything else. Now when you want to go to the extreme side and you want to get a little more experimental with it, I've had the idea of mounting either a 360 or a 480 radiator in the top here. Now you're going to have to remove the mesh because the mesh basically is going to be completely in the way. But if you remove this mesh and you have yourself some uh, nice thick fans and some shrouds, the radiator will easily clear this. And you can either run, if you run a 360, you could run it either, uh, you know, one, two, three, and you would lose your uh, area right here, or depending on how high you had it. Or you could do like what I was thinking of and do a one, two, three, where it would hang off the back and then you could just run your tubes back through with some 90 degree or 45 degree fittings through the factory rubber grounded holes. Now if you did a 480 radiator, your best bet would be to do the two center fans here. Uh, I have not done any measurement on this, so I'm not fully sure if this would work, but I'm going to do some, uh, uh, some test fitting here. Coming up real soon, I'll let you guys know. Okay, so that concludes the most common areas to add water cooling radiators to the 692 case. Uh, basically, uh, dual radiator in the top here, dual radiator at the bottom. You can run a single radiator off the back, or you can get creative and you could run a very large radiator on the top. You could hang one off the back. Um, I'm sure there's uh, a way that you could even mod one that that runs up along here maybe you know there's all kinds of possibilities so this is a very good case and if you guys check online and find a deal uh, you guys can get this for dirt cheap so I really highly recommend this for water cooling builds or if you decide to go air cooling uh, this is a great case as well I'll be doing another video on that in fact on the benefits pros and cons of the air cooling side of the 692 basic or advanced Thanks for watching guys, I hope you guys all have a great day, more videos to come, and please comment and check out my channel and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and I will talk to you guys all later.